The lungs are full. You're gasping for breath. You hear the struggle, and you wish you could just go, we fix it, uh, except it's not that way. Hi, I'm Richard Louie, live at MSNBC headquarters here in New York. My father comes from a group of 13 siblings, maybe eight years ago. His sister comes up to me and says, hey, your dad doesn't remember his siblings' names. Is everything okay? little light for you. You're immediately sad because you know what the track is. You know, it's typically X number of years. It's Richard, see? I don't know if you remember me. There are certain stages you go through, and then you lose them. And you lose them very slowly. So I'm watching my dad, somebody who I love, die in front of me. Being an anchor, you normally work eight days a week, 25 hours a day. And when I went to my bosses and I said, Years ago, my dad just got diagnosed, and I know where this is going. That's when I said to him, give me an opportunity to think of scenarios and solutions. We met in two weeks. She had four ideas, four. We went through them all, one of which was to work part-time. I believe that family comes first, and I think employees are more productive at work when their family dynamic is under control. And part of what being focused at work is making sure that home is taken care of. Caregiving to me means giving your all for somebody, and that means flying half a million miles a year for you know, four, four or five years. I will work from Friday to Sunday, finish at 11 p.m. on Sunday. Monday, um, I'd get up, go to the airport, and then arrive in San Francisco door to door 10 hours later. Immediately I'd start caring for my father. Then I will exercise him, all his limbs. I know you like this. I'll wipe his mouth and his face. He loves to be touched. He's a very physical person, so I'll, I'll touch him a lot. Friday morning, I'd get up, fly back to New York, go to work. Every organization, every corporation, we operate with rules and guidelines. But most of them are exactly that, guidelines, and, and understand the individual's needs and not try to make it fit a one-size-fits-all approach. The, the key is up front, if you're in a dementia Alzheimer's situation, is address it immediately. That's the one thing I learned. Listen, um, be in tune and in touch with the issues that your employee is facing. I think when you work to be collaborative, you can achieve what the business needs and you can also meet the needs of the employee. I hope to be giving the whole conversation a voice. Maybe it's a, sort of like a storytelling social worker. You must grab everything that you're given and it's not always gonna be great working in journalism and seeing so much life and seeing so much death, seeing so much happiness seeing so much sadness is that I understand how tough it can be for all of us no matter where we're at we're all going to end up caregivers at some point or being cared for by a caregiver at the end of the day he'll be gone but if there's one thing that he said is there's one thing that his faith has, has taught the family uh, if there's one thing about the years that we've been given, it's going to be okay in a way. You don't want it, but in the end it's going to be okay.